But the question is, a conspiracy by whom? Well, the obvious suspect would be the CIA. Why else would the agency withhold critical evidence from investigators? Is there a benign explanation for that, for maintaining this level of secrecy for this many years? Not that we're aware of. And it is illegal. In 1992, Congress passed the President John F. Kennedy Assassination Records Collection Act. And that act mandated full disclosure of all documents by 2017, 54 years after JFK was killed. The last administration promised to comply fully with that law, but under intense pressure from CIA Director Mike Pompeo, withheld in the end thousands of pages of CIA documents. Today, this afternoon, the Biden administration did exactly the same thing. That would be thousands of pages of documents after nearly 60 years, after the death of every single person involved. But we still can't see them. Clearly, it's not to protect any person. They're all dead. It's to protect an institution. But why? Well, today we decided to find out. We spoke to someone who had access to these still hidden CIA documents, a person who was deeply familiar with what they contain. We asked this person directly, did the CIA have a hand in the murder of John F. Kennedy, an American president? And here's the reply we received verbatim. Quote, the answer is yes. I believe they were involved. It's a whole different country from what we thought it was. It's all fake. It's hard to imagine a more jarring response than that. Again, this is not a, quote, conspiracy theorist that we spoke to. Not even close. This is someone with direct knowledge of the information that once again is being withheld from the American public. And the answer we received was unequivocal. Yes, the CIA was involved in the assassination.